Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome, and please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell below. Uh, very excited to be doing an on-location from the hotel room uh, beer review. Uh, I'm in San Diego. It is amazing, having such a good time. And uh, I thought I would do a beer review of one of the breweries I'm not going to be able to get to while I'm out here, and that is the Lost Abbey. Um, so I went to the best damn beer store, uh, which I've uh, bought stuff online from them before. They were very close to a hotel. And uh, yeah, I was really, I was just looking for a beer that I could not get um, at the brewery on this trip again, because I'm not going. And this is Bad Out of Hell, which is um, uh, a barrel-aged stout. Shocker, they went with a barrel-aged stout. Um, it also has coffee and cacao nibs, and it's 13, uh, what was it, 13.5% ABV. And uh, came out in 2018. It is currently 2019. Hopefully that will stay. I have proper hotel glassware. Um, actually, when I poured it, that's how much head, maybe, I mean, like, just a little bit more was in it. So not a lot of head there. Uh, perhaps with the adjuncts, the age, and or the uh, dirty glasses. I don't know. But <laughs> it did not have a lot of head. But it's what is there is a mocha color. Let's see about the aroma. Definitely get the big sweet bourbon and then that um, I'm gonna say chocolate first, dark chocolate. But there's there's some sweetness there, and then that with a little, you know a little bit of that vanilla in from the barrel. You do get a little bit of milk chocolate as well. Um, then that rose from the um, you know the malts, but also the coffee uh, definitely comes through. Nice level of coconut. Um, <clears throat> it is. A little reminiscent of something like an Almond Joy because you have the chocolate and a little bit of that coconut, that vanilla again in there. The bourbon itself, very pleasant. Everything uh, in the aroma seems to be working well. It is a sweeter smell, but definitely, again, not like candy bar level. Um, it smells really good. Definitely uh, upper half um, uh, echelon of, of beer aromas. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. That's really good. Yeah, that is tasty. Being a little older, I was worried that that coffee would come through like a pepper or green pepper. No, does not at all. Huge chocolate, very similar to the aroma. It's mostly <clears throat> a dark chocolate with some milk creaminess kind of chocolate coming through as well. Actually, like the aroma, the coffee is playing well with the roast that's there, but you still get a healthy dose of actual coffee, not just, oh yeah, this is a roasty stout. So, well done keeping that coffee presence there for, um, well, I don't know what time in 2008, or what month or part of 2018, but it is um, July of 2019, so it's got to be pretty old in terms of coffee and beer standards. You get some like grape jelly, berry. Again, it, it's not just like the aroma. It's not overly sweet. I, I will say the aroma is a hair sweeter than the taste. Um, but you do get like a jammy dark fruit thing going on. The bourbon is very nice, not overpowering. The beer is not burning. It's it's barely even like warming the chest at that ABV. Um, it's relatively warm. I mean, it's it's hard to gauge, but it's probably it's not quite room temperature. It's probably like sixty degrees. Um, but yeah, the berry note's nice. But it, you get some of the raw um, cacao that's in there as well. The cacao nibs with the coffee. Wait, did I say that right earlier? It has cacao nibs. I think I said that with the coffee. Um, let's see, they're saying espresso and that uh, cocoa, and then hints of milk chocolate, yeah. Uh, creamy caramel, I don't get that. Yeah, sweet vanilla, I definitely get that. Yeah, pretty close to what they're describing for sure. Uh, I'm trying to balance it on an upside down pint glass. Doing a pretty good job. Well done, no hype. Um, and also well done, Lost Ab. This, this beer is fantastic. Slight amount of the coconut, as little as I got in the aroma, there was more in the aroma than the taste, but slight. 
little nutty quality. Yeah, lovely beer, very smooth. <laughs> Easy drinking for the ABV, the adjuncts. It, it's just, it's smooth, it's nice. It's like a, a nice smooth liqueur or liquor or liqueur. Um, you know, those, those things can be smooth tasting, although they're, they're big and, and, and uh, impactful flavors and tastes. But hey, well done, Lost Abbey. Well done to you guys for watching me on location uh, from my hotel room in San Diego, California. Uh, check out Instagram Untapped. No hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.